Hi everyone, it's the Knee Fake Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Rina Sawayama project, Hold the Girl. This is the sophomore full-length LP from UK-based singer and songwriter Miss Rina Sawayama, which comes a few years after her fantastic Sawayama debut, a record that featured loads of great pop singles, balladry, creative production, as well as a few interesting mix-ups like the metal-inspired STFU. This LP brought Rina a lot of very well-deserved attention, much more than the EP she dropped prior. And now that she's had this taste of pop stardom, it seems that she is like leaning into that as hard as she possibly can with this new LP, which features a round of songs and instrumentals that I think will have a much wider appeal. Although part of me is kind of sad to see Rena let go of much of her alternative edge. I mean, it does come up in flares on this LP, like on the industrially tinged Your Age, which kind of sounds like a late era Nine Inch Nails cut. But for the most part, the beats on this thing continue to pull from Rena's love of Y2K era pop and dance pop with a little Gaga worship sprinkled in here and there. Take the title track on this thing, for example, which features these grand soaring lead vocals on the intro, just soaked in atmosphere, and these are eventually met with some very direct dance beats, very clubby with a few cool glitches sprinkled in here and there. It's a solid tune, but really it's the versatility of the track that makes it a thrill. The acoustic passages, the strings that fly up on the chorus, the house and inspired piano bits, as well as the key change toward the back end. There are so many details tastefully executed throughout the entire track. Then there's the very saucy This Hell, which is a commentary on the tortures of the modern world that we live in and how having someone through that can sort of make it worthwhile or at least take the edge off. Rena makes mention of uh, the world getting worse as we go along and the media eating up female pop stars. But hey, This Hell is better with you. The cheekiness of it almost makes it feel like a, a dystopian futuristic take on Shania Twain's That Don't Impress Me Much. I do think the track is a bop, but part of me still misses uh, some of the weird minor details that would typically make their way into any number of Rena beats, which I feel have been sacrificed a little bit for the sake of making this hulking pop monstrosity. Now, things on this LP, I think, kind of take a nosedive as we transition into the middle point of the album. For one, Catch Me in the Air has this intro with all this glistening instrumentation, Ocean Waves, Flute, is this like a boneless uh, My Heart Will Go On or something? But then it quickly switches over to these really humdrum, middle-of-the-road rhythm guitars and drums, which feel like the soundtrack to an overly sentimental rock ballad off of a, I don't know, 2000s uh, teen flick soundtrack. But now with all of those memories coming back in the worst way possible, the mix on this track is horrendously saturated to boot. It's no teenage dirtbag, that's for sure. Things get even more syrupy and saccharine on the track Forgiveness, which is a bit of an acoustic number in 3-4. Pleasant while it's on, but it runs through a pretty stereotypical chord progression, and similarly it sounds like something out of a 2000s rom-com or, I don't know, Dawson's Creek music bed. Holy Till You Let Me Go definitely goes harder with some kind of vintage trancey dance beats, but again, seriously oversaturated mix on this one that really buries Rena's heavily doctored vocal harmonies. It's really a flabby and unflattering sound from a track that is clearly trying too hard to be epic. There are tracks on this thing that are compressed to the point where they are harsh to the ears. The song Hurricanes, for example, the drums on this one sound like a pounding freaking headache. Then you also have the acidic waterfalls of grainy, distorted vocal harmonies that are just dousing the chorus on imagining, which sort of feels like a Clarence Clarity experiment gone tremendously wrong. And speaking of experiments gone wrong, we also have the track Frankenstein, which bases its narrative around the Dr. Frankenstein monster and uh, gives us some driving bass hard-hitting drums and sort of spooky guitars and washes of effects. The end result is okay, I suppose. It just kind of sounds like an overblown musical number from uh, some live-action Halloween-themed Disney show. I suppose Halloween is around the corner. Send My Love to John is a pristine, simple, and kind of powerful little acoustic ballad, which I'm a little on the fence with the tune of, but still, it is a nice change of pace from the overbearing production so far. Then the final moments of the record, I suppose, 
do bring it to a kind of grand finish. The song Phantom, while I do think this one is similarly overdone on the production side, I do respect the fact that Rena is getting very personal and meta in the lyrics here. I do think it ties some of the themes of the record up pretty nicely. So I suppose in some respects the record does stick the landing, but boy is it kind of a rough ride up until that point. Sadly, I was not as much into this Rena record as I hoped I would be, especially being such a big fan of her earlier work. And sure, part of it does have to do with simplifying it, maybe oversimplifying it to the point where it has lost a bit of flavor, but honestly, a more direct pop album from Rena would be perfectly welcome if the beats, songs, and instrumentals were a bit more in order, but yet they are not. A lot of these instrumentals, I think, in an attempt to hit the audience hard, uh, kind of overshoot it on the volume, on the compression, uh, overdrive things a bit to the point where it is a little deafening, uh, bricked out, severely lacking in dynamics and body, which I think kind of smothers the songs and the inherent beauty of a lot of these tracks, frankly. And if Rena past this point decides to swing for the fences again, which I would uh, completely welcome, uh, hopefully uh, those kinks are kind of smoothed out uh, by then. I'm feeling a strong five to a light six on this one. Transition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Rina Sawayama, forever.